Hello, my dear students, and welcome to week eight overview. During this week, we are going to start with the first lesson of the unit, which is body organization. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to list the levels of organization in the body, describe the organization of body systems, describe the function of cells, tissues, organs, and body systems, compare the structure and function of body systems to other systems, for example, a car, invertebrates, and so on, explain the general functions of body systems, including how they work together to function. So we're going to start with our vocabulary, which is tissue, organ, organ system, our academic vocabulary, which is organized. So organization of the body. So like in everything in our life and like an airplane, your body is well organized and divided into systems that technically work together. So for example, your digestive system and circulatory system work together to help these cells in your body get the energy they need to function. So how the human body is similar to an airplane that both are organized into systems that require control and must work together. We also have here that levels of organization. We have cells and tissues. So technically what we said in the first unit that everything is made out of cells and the basic unit of life is cells. So technically what we said that we have a cell and a bunch of cells organized together that they become and form a tissue. So for example, I have a muscle tissue uh, that contracts or shortens to make parts of your body move. We have nerve tissue that carries electrical signals from the brain to all over the body and back again. We also have connective tissues such as bone and fat that provides support for your body and attaches all of its parts together. So also we have the skin, the largest organ in the human body that has ep epithelial uh, tissue that protects your insides of damage. We also have here the organ system. So kidneys, heart, brains, and skin are all organs. So every organ is part of an organ system. For example, our stomach is part of our digestive system. Our heart is part of our circulatory system. So what type of cells work together to make a tissue? Similar cells that perform the same function work together to make a tissue. So for example, we have here nerve cells that help kidney pump um, and filter blood. This is a kidney. Okay, and we have the uh, muscle cells in the uh, archer drain urine to the bladder. We're going to talk about this in detail once we reach that point. We also have here human organ systems. So for example, we have here that control system, which to function properly, structural system that we have three organ systems that work, shape, move, and protect your body. We also have oxygen transport system. The respiratory system brings in oxygen and moves out carbon dioxide by way of the lungs. And the circulatory system carries oxygen-rich blood to the all parts of your body. So here we have the structural systems, which are the skeletal, muscular, and integumentary system. We have oxygen and transport systems, respiratory and circulatory systems. Uh, we also have food and waste processing system, digestive and excretory system, control system, uh, nervous and endocrine system. We also have defense system, which is the immune system, and lastly, the reproductive system.